Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your bonus tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on messages from your person. If you voted in the poll which asked, um, you know, which zodiac element wants to win, messages from your person, congratulations. So let's find out what is going on. What are some messages from Leo's person? Twin flame. That is the very first card that I have for you. I feel like for some of you, you are dealing with an individual that could be, you know, a person that you have a very powerful connection with. I'm getting the impression, yeah, that, uh, you know, in twin flame connections, this person could represent the other half of your soul. I feel like your person is communicating that they recognize that this is no ordinary connection. Some of you might have been with this person for some time you could have been in and out of a relationship might have been on and off something like that uh, but whatever happens the two of you always find your way back to one another there's this unexplainable uh, you know attraction desire lust passion all of those things as well as love that draws the two of you together and you just feel like there's this recognition this recognition of the connection and your person is acknowledging that they may even feel like tingles on the back of their neck when they are in your company when they're around you when they think of you you know it doesn't matter how far apart the two of you are at any given time there's the connection there's two hearts that are deeply connected to one another that are deeply um, attracted to one another in this very powerful sort of way and I feel like it pulls you in you know it pulls you in in this powerful way and uh, some of you don't uh, you know truly know if this person is feeling that and this is a clear indication that they do feel these emotions on a very high level right I feel like this person is definitely wanting to communicate that they know that there's something different about you. They know that there's something different about this connection. You know, they just feel very drawn to you. I am in love with you, right? What a beautiful message. Now, if you're interested in this Oracle card deck, you can find the link in the description box below. It's called the Messages Oracle deck. So this particular card is, you know, your person making it very, very clear that they are indeed in love with you. You know, to love someone is one thing, but to be in love with an individual who think about them constantly, they're on your mind 24 seven, whether a person is choosing to admit it or not. And there's a sense of just feeling like, you know, this is the one. You know, you wake up in the morning, you think about this person. This person is thinking about you as well. When they go to sleep at night, they think about you. If you've been on and off in a relationship, this person might have had to um, go through something really arduous, you know, just to be apart from you. I wouldn't be surprised if this person started drinking or started you know, self-destructing in ways. For some of you, this person could have actually went off and married someone else. You know, so they might have used that as a way to try to get over this connection, to try to forget this relationship, to try to, um, you know, just pretend as if the two of you are not alike, the two of you are not the same. And some of you may have even dated other people, but you've always felt drawn back to this person. You've always felt like this is the other half of your soul. And this person is, you know, from the moment they met you to right at this instance, there's love there and it's a deep kind of love it's the type of love where people are in love with one another not just loving each other you know sometimes you can meet a person and you can feel drawn to them and there might be some sort of spark that happens and um, you know you develop feelings for that individual but those feelings are not really the type of feelings you imagine them to be they're not 
the type of feelings where you're in love with a person. You might love them, you might not know why. They might be a part of your soul family, but you know, if you can imagine your life without them, then you're not really in love with that individual. If you can imagine that the two of you are going to be apart for the next 50 years and you're fine with that, that's not being in love with that individual. Just trying to make it very clear. Some of you uh, might need that clarification. So I feel like this, this individual has a vision for the future. I don't feel like they can live without you. I don't feel like they can deal with that sort of energy. It's not something they can deal with in any shape or form. I want to spend my life with you. So, you know, this person has become very clear about wanting to spend the rest of their life with you, wanting to have their happily ever after with you. It can't be with anyone else. It can only be with you. It can only be this connection forevermore for the rest of eternity. I feel like this individual is feeling very romantic, but I also feel like they're coming from a sincere, genuine place, a place where they truly, truly do feel like you're the one and you've always been the one. And maybe they didn't want to see it or maybe they didn't want to deal with it, you know. But I feel like they were always searching for someone like you. Even if they were on a different sort of uh, path, you know. Maybe they might have been in relationships with other people along the way. But they were always searching for someone like you. I haven't told you everything. So there are certain aspects of this person that haven't come to the forefront. There are certain aspects of this individual that haven't been revealed. I feel like these energies are quite unique because they are indicating that there's a lot, of, lot more love messages inside of this individual. There's a lot more, um, you know, of a connection that they feel towards you. They have all of these feelings that want to pour out. It feels romantic. It feels poetic. They could be very poetic in nature. It was not supposed to end this way. So some of you could have ended your relationship with this person or this person ended it, but it just never felt right. It never felt like they could be comfortable with that decision or that they could close this chapter and walk away from it. You know, some people feel that way. Some people just feel like, well, you know, this person is my intellectual equal. This person is my emotional, um, you know, well-being encompassed in another human being. And one cannot exist without the other. It's those type of energies. And I feel like this individual really uh, doesn't know what would they, what would they do if, um, if you were not a part of their world. I'm trying my best to not hurt you. I feel like this individual might have hurt you in the past. And I feel like there's an energy of them needing to tiptoe around you. Needing to be careful. Needing to be considerate of your feelings, your emotions and who you are as an individual. It's so critically important to them as a human being you know they connect with you in that very deep sort of way i am crazy about you right so if they made mistakes in the past they certainly don't want to repeat those mistakes especially with this card coming out and this person letting you know that they're crazy about you i feel like they're trying to tell you that they would do anything and everything for you under the sun whatever that would make you feel happy they'll do it right if you want ice cream at two o'clock in the morning they'll get it for you if you want um you know a beautiful handbag or a beautiful pair of shoes or something that can just delight you or bring you a sense of happiness there's no end to what they would do in order to make sure you feel safe you feel comforted you feel happy and i feel like you have so much to be grateful for you know i do get a message from spirit right now that when it comes to you know, who you are as a person, when it comes to what's important to you in life, love has to be the main priority of your entire uh, world, you know, because you operate from the heart. Leo individuals operate from the heart. And what Spirit is telling me is that you must not choose a path that will, you know, rob you of your happiness. You must choose a path that will take you towards your happiness. You must choose a path that leads you towards this kind of love, you know, it has to always be like that for you, for you to have true happiness in this life. 
I feel like a lot of you thrive on the on the attention that you receive from this individual. I also feel like for some of you, you have attention from other people. But what I feel like from this connection is that there's a need for dedication and devotion. There's a need for sacrifice for one another. And this is a connection worth doing so because there's a purity to it. There's something really magical about it. I feel like the two of you can live alone in some sort of uh, island completely with one another and not give a damn about the world not care about what's going on in the world, not be preoccupied with all the dramas, the politics and things of that sort. As long as the two of you have one another, there's something there that will last a lifetime. And you will be proud of saying that, yeah, you made certain sacrifices in order for this connection to occur. And those sacrifices were worth it. You put this person first, you know, and I feel like that's what is needed in this situation. I should have done more. So I feel like this individual... Um, would go above and beyond to please you, above and beyond to make you feel a sense of happiness, to make you feel happy. And they always constantly ask themselves, are they doing enough? You know, are they doing enough? So let's get one card from the Marcus Aurelius deck. What we do now echoes in eternity. Very beautiful. So I feel like your connection with this person is going to be um, eternal. I feel like if you had a choice between this individual and, um, you know, other paths that are open to you in this world, Spirit is saying to choose this connection, to choose this individual over and over again. Because they could be the only one on this planet that will make you ha feel a sense of happiness. Because they feel like you're the only one that can make them feel a sense of happiness. There can be no other. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope it has provided you with clarity and insight in terms of the messages your person has for you now. If you want a person reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.